just a regular plane, no chemtrails, a little one, Cessna, or something like that, little I know. So it's really true what they say about Mount Tam, it's really just a hill, it's a big hill. I can see that when I was looking in the, in the view on the computer, I, I was like, where's Mount Tam, is it behind my head? And it was right there, that's it, that little thing right there. Uh, when you look at it directly, it has a little more stature. So, Mount Tam is a beautiful place, uh, a treasure really, the way it is. I'm so glad that no one built on it. And in the foothills, uh, unfortunately there is a, some sort of military or some sort of observational shit up there. It's like a giant puffball impersonating mushrooms as per usual. Authority is, by the way. So uh, I've been mushroom hunting also on Mount Tam and it is a beautiful place to mushroom hunt. The trees are older than the ones here, so there's potentially more mushrooms. Right now I'm in Tam Valley, technically, right on the other side of Marin City. That's that's the most I'll tell you. <laughs> I won't tell you which trees I visit. But you know what? The, the secret is out because you know what? These grow everywhere. Anywhere you have certain trees, uh, pines, some oaks. Uh, what are the other ones? Uh, in other parts of the world, it's large. Um, uh, you can just look up all the sacred trees of the the ancient uh, Norse religions, and it's usually trees that are associated with Amanita muscaria and, and mushrooms in general, all the medicinal mushrooms. Many of the medicinal mushrooms grow under trees. Um, so, uh, and I also wanted to add that the, the theory of the uh, parasites, um, this mushroom being an anti-parasitic, -paras is my new theory, and I... I I'm I'm saying it tentatively because I don't I don't know I'm not a scientist I haven't been able I don't have the money to do tests um, I assume that we all or 80 or 70 or 60 percent of who knows give or take a few over the years have internal parasites and um, so I think that as an herbalist I was actually shown to this mushroom because I did have an internal parasite and it's take it's it is either taking care of it or is it it's helping to take care of it. But the other thing about this mushroom is it's also um, reputed to be uh, anti-carcinogenic. Um, this is two different sources. Uh, one is Donald Teeter and the other is, I um, can't remember his name right now, but his book is called um, The Fungal Pharmacopoeia, I believe, or The Fungal Pharmacy. Wonderful book. Highly recommended. Uh, and his name slips my mind. Big fellow. Um, so this mushroom is certainly antiviral uh, and antibacterial uh, in a general sense, uh, much like uh, many of the uh, of many mushrooms and many um, forest mushrooms, forest dwelling mushrooms. Um, I can name a few. Uh, I believe that even even things like uh, I mean, reishi has other uses, but I think it, even it has probably has some action against uh, internal. Um, issues like that, uh, maitake, all of these mushrooms I think have a, have a very general uh, health, health giving effect to humans and as we have seen that animals also use them and they use them in their fresh state which is very interesting because we're always told to eat, consume these mushrooms uh, in their dry state because in their, um, in their raw state they're, they're dangerous and they, could, they make us throw up. Well this may just be that we're eating um, too large of amounts. I mean, you saw how much that animal took. If that was one animal, two or three animals, they only took a small amount of mushroom, and that was it. That was it. They understood that you only need a little. A little goes a long way. Um, many herbs are this way, so overindulging on one herb is really um, usually counterproductive. Um, and I say this uh, as an herbalist, but also as someone who cares about culture. If we have monocultures where everyone is doing one thing, like what just happened with beer in America, beer and alcohol in general, and um, cigarettes. Uh, this this is tremendously dangerous because it uh, people become dependent on one thing, and and if the thing is is um, also poison like alcohol and Amanita muscaria, which kills internal parasites, but also may kill uh, good bugs in the stomach. So it is in a sense something that could be dangerous if you didn't use um, a probiotic with it to replenish your stomach. Um, so this is a tremendously uh, interesting mushroom, as many mushrooms are. This is not the, the big cult religious mushroom. This is not, you know, mushrooms in general 
have a lot to offer humans, and there's very little that, that humans actually know about mushrooms. There's a lot of superstition, there's a lot of hearsay, there's a lot, and now there's going to be a lot of like pharma, pharma science, i.e. let's, you know, we need to control, we need to own this, and don't let the people know about the natural, uh, actually safer versions, because we want to own this medicine so we can be the savers, we can save people and nobody else can, and therefore they're dependent on us. Do you see how it works? It's, it's this mentality which uh, we're all fighting and which the, if you go and find your own, own medicines in nature with a little bit of um, knowledge, reading in books, tasting small bits of, of plants that you kind of know, like I know this is plantain and I know this is a, a good plant for, it's a healing plant, so I'm eating a little piece. I don't have to eat a lot. Just eating a little. I want to check it out. I want to see what the relationship is between me and this plant before I go. You know, it's like with pot. People, young people are like, well, pot is great. Yeah, guys, pot is great. I smoked a little this morning. It's wonderful stuff. It really um, relaxes me and lets me go of anything that I'm holding on to. Wonderful. Great stuff. But if you overdo it and you're doing it all the time, you're you're going out of balance. You're just, uh, you know, there's other things in life. You have to do more than one thing. You, you can't just choose one thing. Choose one, choose two, choose three. Are you done? No, keep going, keep going. Here, what's this over here? Keep going all the way. Don't stop at number one, okay? So people who are afraid of mushrooms, I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry that you're afraid of mushrooms, but you should be much more afraid of parasites in nature, some of the, which are mushrooms. Candida albicans has been shown to turn into something that will eat you alive, i.e. cancer. So um, you have to choose, you have to decide now which ones are your friends and which ones are your enemy. And you have to discern, you can't just say all mushrooms are bad, because that's bad for all of us. That means that you're you're just giving up on um, you know rational thought and that just screws everything up especially if you guys are the ones with the money so you know nothing about mushrooms you're lying about going to the moon and you have all the money and you control the banks and you're all fucking high on cocaine okay that's not gonna work 